Today I'll be showing you guys how to make your camera follow objects. Before we get started, I just want to mention that I am building upon my Pixel Perfect camera tutorial, so if you haven't seen that, I will have a link in the description. Now I'm going to compile this here, and all I've added to that is this background and the sprite, which I can control with my arrow keys. So open up the camera object, and let's edit the create event. We're going to add a variable called view x. I'm going to set that to zero and view y. We're going to set that to zero. And then for our last variable, we're going to do target. And we're going to make that equal to no one. Now let's go back to our camera object and open up the step event. And we're going to write if instance exists target and open and closing brackets. Now we're going to do view x equals target dot x view y equals target dot y. Now we're going to edit our camera's view matrix. So if we go back to the create event, I'm going to copy this here. I'm going to do vm equals matrix underscore build underscore look at. And we're going to edit some parameters here. So this first one, which if we look down here, is the x from. We're going to do view x. This is the y from view y. Now Z we don't have to mess with because we're not working in 3D. And we're doing X2, which is just view X, and Y2, which is view Y. So just to go over what we've written so far, we're setting our view X variable to our target's X position, our view Y variable to our target's Y position, and then we're creating a view matrix that sets its X and Y positions to our view X and view Y. Now we need to actually apply it to our camera. So we're going to do camera set view mat and we're going to input our camera and then our view matrix which is just VM. Right now we don't have a target so we're going to go back to our create event we're going to go to target and we're going to put it as O player which is my player object and if we compile this now you see the camera is following the player but if you notice, it looks like it's a frame behind its position. The player doesn't say directly centered. So in order to fix that, let's go back to our camera object. Go to add event, step, end step. Let's copy all the code from our step event. Paste it into our end step. Let's compile again. And you can see the player stays centered. So that is a very basic way to get your camera to follow your object. If we want to make it smoothly follow, we can apply a lerp to our view x and view y variables. If you don't know what lerp is, it's linear interpolation. So if we type up the function here and we middle click it, it'll open up the game maker documentation. You can see the description, it says, with this function, you can find the value that equates to the position between two other values for a given percentage. Let's go back to our code. For lerp, for the first parameter, we're going to do view x, the second parameter, target.x, and then we're going to set the percentage amount to 0.08. Now, what this does is it takes the view x variable, which we set to 0, then it takes the target x position, which is just whatever position it is in the room, and then every frame it's going to bring view x closer to target.x by 0.08%. Now, why such a low number? Remember, it is running every single frame or every single step of the game, and I currently have it set to 60 steps per second or 60 frames per second. So let's do the same thing for our view y variable. Target dot y 0.08. So now if we compile this, you can see that now it smoothly follows the player. It kind of lags behind. That's it for this video. Remember to like and subscribe. If you guys enjoy these and would like to vote for the next tutorial, download the project files and join my Discord where I will personally help you with the projects, then please consider pledging to my Patreon.